Hey there, how's it going? You ever find yourself glued to the TV, watching Dragon Ball, and BAM! Out of the blue, something totally mind-blowing happens. Well, hold on to your seats, because the Madimbu Saga takes unexpected twists to a whole new level. In today's video, I've handpicked the most jaw-dropping moments from this saga. So buckle up, smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, and get ready for some serious craziness. Okay, picture this. The legendary Z-Sword, known for its unbeatable power, shatters into pieces when Kaioshin swoops in to save Gohan and whisks him away to some sacred planet. They wanted Gohan, the mighty Saiyan, to wield that sacred Zeta Sword that not even Goku or the gods could budge. And whoever managed to yank it out of that stone was promised unimaginable power. So guess what? Gohan pulls it off. But hold on, turns out the sword was as ordinary as a feather duster. Still, he goes along with his training, and miraculously, the darn thing gets lighter and lighter. Now, he reaches the planet and gets this brilliant idea to test the sword's cutting prowess on a gigantic rock. But Kaioshin, being the genius he is, decides it's better to hurl the hardest metal in the entire universe. And well, you can guess what happens next. The sword breaks. I mean seriously, talk about an anticlimax. But wait for it, an ancient old geezer, trapped inside the sword for who knows how long, suddenly shows up and unlocks Gohan's hidden potential, granting him the coveted mystic form. Now that's what I call a plot twist. But wait, there's more. Get this. Majin Buu, after getting rid of Babidi, goes on a city-destroying spree, turning innocent folks into tasty treats. Just when you think it can't get any crazier, guess who steps up? None other than our hero, the savior of Earth, Mr. Satan. Yeah, the guy everyone thought had single-handedly defeated the heavens. He confronts Majin Buu, and against all odds, something unexpected happens yet again. Mr. Satan manages to win the villain's trust by offering him gourmet chocolates laced with poison and a video game that explodes, but only in the virtual world, thankfully. And you won't believe it, slowly but surely, Mr. Satan starts playing the role of a caretaker. He cooks for Majin Buu, gives him baths, tells him bedtime stories. Turns out, dealing with a super-powered villain is a piece of cake if you know the right recipe. Mr. Satan even convinces Majin Buu to quit his destructive ways and spare innocent lives. Can you believe it? For a moment, Mr. Satan becomes the hero of Earth. Now that's an achievement Piccolo himself can't help but admire, and he proudly spills the beans to Videl about Mr. Satan's unexpected heroics. Oh, and hold on tight for this one. In the blink of an eye, Majin Buu, now in his Super Buu form, storms into the temple of Kamisama, all hell-bent on finding Goten and Trunks. Seriously. That scene left me flabbergasted. So, my friends, brace yourselves for an unforgettable roller coaster ride through the Madimbu saga. Trust me, you won't know what hit you.